Right then. Fourth time, maybe, is the charm? This is my fourth time trying this. This hopefully will work. I'm trying a different program this time. I went and got something different because obviously, uh, what's it called? Cam Studio just does not want to work for me. It works for like three seconds, but anything over that and the lovely, lovely, lovely thing will not record my audio. Okay, so here we go again. This is my first, really this is my fourth, uh, tutorial video, although it's all been for the same freaking, uh, thing, so how you could call that the fourth, I have no idea. Now, this tutorial for The Last Child of Gallifrey was asked for by Smart Brand Let's Play. And here is how to install The Last Child of Gallifrey Fallout 2 for Fallout 3. Now, first thing you're going to want to do is open your browser. Get a new tab. In that new tab, go to fallout3.nexusmods.com slash mods slash 14107. That'll bring you to this page where you have The Last Child of Gallifrey. Now, the first thing I'm going to tell you to do is up here somewhere, it's going to tell you to sign up. Do that first. Go through your whole sign up thing, get it done, because you need to be signed in and have a, a sign up thing to download this because it's too big of a file and you need to be able to get it without uh, an issue. Excuse me. Videos. What is this video? Ah, it's the trailer. Ah, that's alright. We don't need a trailer. Now, next thing you're going to want to do is come about three quarters of the way down the page. You're going to find this right here. Now, I'm going to show you two different ways. You can do this manually, or you can do this with a manager. I recommend doing it with a manager, which will be the second thing I show you. The first thing I'm showing you is how to do it manually. So, first thing you're going to do, you're going to go to this, this, uh, oh, what do you call this link? You're going to highlight it. Now, uh, follow, or XP users, or Mac, I guess, I don't know if this even works on Mac. You're going to right click copy. I can do open link in new tab, thankfully, because I have Windows 7. I'm not sure if I could do that Fallout, or Fallout, keep saying Fallout, Windows XP. Now, this is for Fallout Mod Manager. This is, it's just a mod manager, that's basically all it is. It's basically the same thing as the other manager, I think. I don't know if you don't use them both together. I don't even know if I need Fallout Mod Manager installed anymore. So, what you'll do is you come here, download. Uh, it'll download. It'll ask you where to put it, if that's how you have things set up. Otherwise, go wherever you have everything put. Uh, it's an executable file. All you have to do is start it, and it'll run and ask you everything that a usual install will ask you. Next thing you're going to do, you're going to find where your uh, Fallout 3 directory is. If you have disks, your Fallout 3 directory is probably at C, Program Files, Bethesda Softworks, Fallout 3, Data. So, if you have the disks, this is where you'll go, and you can just skip... Uh, the next few seconds of this. If you have Steam like I do, your uh, file, data file, will be at C, Program Files. Can I like, yes I can, good. C, Program Files, Steam. Now I have, this is Program Files 86 because I have uh, two different program file things for some reason. I don't know why exactly. Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Fallout 3. <laughs> And I have the Game of the Year edition, so it's Fallout 3 Game of the Year. Uh, data. This is it. This is where you're going to put everything. 
see you can see right here better trader repair is right here already uh, here is the last child of Gallifrey right here ready and waiting to be played so now once you've figured out which uh, where your data file is your directory is what they call it it's either here in Steam where I just showed you or it's here where I showed you or I, if it's not in either of those places you're gonna have to find it for yourself because I have no idea where it could be okay second next thing hopefully we don't need that anymore but I'm just gonna minimize it just in case I have to redo this next thing we're gonna do we're going to go to files we're going to go down now here's download manage manually or download manager we're going to do manually first what you're going to do is you're going to click this file or this link it's going to do this it's going to ask you where's your server so you pick one uh... it actually hasn't been asking me the last few times there it is now this is how it's going to open excuse me it is a zip file you can either open it with whatever zip manager you use uh... winzip seven zip whatever or you can save it to your computer I usually open these things so I'd open it with 7-zip it would open like I'm gonna show you actually it opens like taking longer than I thought it was going to but that's okay uh... wow it's taking a lot longer than I <gasps> thought it was going to you know what cancel I already have a 7 zip open. So it'll come up something like this. You'll click on the file, you'll hit extract. Now, when you hit extract, it's going to ask you where you want to put it. You can open, and I'm glad I actually kept this open. You can do this. You can copy the link up here, hit copy, and you can paste it. Okay, really? Fine, screw you. You can paste it here, and that way, you can just hit OK and it'll put the files in right straight in there. Okay? There you go. That's done. Now all you have to do is open File Up Mod Manager, which will come up like this. And you'll have to, I think, check it off that you want it, want it to work when it comes up. And then launch Fallout 3. That's it. You're done with doing it manually. Now, also make sure you download the patch and put it in the same place. Do it manually. Okay, do that if you're going to do that manually. Now, next is to do it with the Fallout Mod Manager. And I closed, I am stupid. I closed Fallout Mod Manager. Next, you're going to do it with Nexus Mod Manager, which is a, oh, it's a better way because you don't have to find the uh, thing yourself. Now you're going to come in here, you're going to hit go to download, you're going to download it. It also is a use OBMM or font. I'm going to check here for installation. No. Why am I doing this now? I don't need to do this now. Am I stupid? Alright, so it's a uh, executable file. It'll install the same as any other executable file. And instead of downloading manually, you hit download with manager. What that will do, it'll bring up that same uh, thing as before, uh, but it'll come up in here. Now, if you have this open, like I do, it'll just pop up right down here, and it'll download it. All you have to do is come over here to mods, click it. So you see, you click it. You go to this second thing. It'll activate the selected mod. You're done. All you have to do is launch Fallout 3. Uh, FOSE is the Fallout script extender, which I have. That's for I have that for some other mods, so you don't have to worry about that if you're just downloading uh, Last Child of Gallifrey. So all you would do is launch Fallout 3, and it should work fine. There will be a uh, thing on your mini map or on your map when you come up, and you can travel right to the TARDIS. And <sighs> sorry. Uh, you can go, it'll be right there, you'll be done. Okay? That's great. So that's it, really. Those two things. Now, 
there is one thing. Uh, oh, I closed that one too. I really have faith in this other thing. Um, it's the thing about the mod manager. It'll come up ask. It'll come up scanning your computer. It's going to be scanning for the data folders for this folder. It's going to be scanning for this, the directory files. Now it's going to do it for Fallout 3, and it's going to do it for like five other things, like uh, Skyrim and Dark Souls and I think maybe Dragon Age or The Witcher, I'm not sure, uh, Fallout New Vegas, and, and like I said, it's either Dragon Age or The Witcher, I'm not sure, or something else altogether. Now, if you have all those installed, it'll give you an option to choose what you want to manage. So choose Fallout 3, and it'll bring up that screen you just had, and then you'll download it with the manager, and it'll install it, and everything will be fine. Now make sure you install this one, and then you install this one. Now, when you do this one, and it asks you, and you want to uh, do the thing where you go to the second thing, and it uh, works the manager, it'll ask you uh, what you want to do. If you want to install it over the other one, or if you want to install it as a separate thing and so you want to install it as a separate thing so you're gonna hit no it'll just install it regularly if you hit no and that's that's it basically so thank you for the request I really hope this works like you do not even understand how much I hope this works this time this is my fourth time doing this and I really don't want to have to do it again okay so thank you all for watching uh, I don't know what I said last uh, that was all, uh, so I said, do this separately, hit no when it comes up and says, do you want to install it over the other one because it's the same or some newer, I I'm not sure. But just hit no, it'll come up and say, and then just play your game. It'll be fine, trust me, I hope. No, don't, don't, don't take my word on that. Don't take my word on that. I don't want complaints because it doesn't work. <laughs> the way I, ch I showed you, it should work. So thank you all for watching. That's it. I'm done. I I need to I need to stop. And if this doesn't work this time, I'm quitting for a few hours. I'm not even trying it again. So thank you for watching. Goodbye.